David's Song of Praise. David sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all of his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my savior. From violent men you save me. I call to the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and I am saved from my enemies. The waves of death swirled about me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I called out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. Mm, I just got to pause for a minute. For a moment. <laughs> This is deep. This is, this is what love is. And David is able to provide from his gift, his gift, um, gift of giving the Lord back what he deserves. And just reading this, it's just beautiful. It's true. It's truth and accurate. And it just makes me feel it. It makes me feel, it makes me understand that he's, David's just like any other human. We get, we have fear, we have failures, we have sin, we have things, but the Lord loves us so much. He goes above and beyond. And so much so that he gave his son Jesus. And all we have to do is believe that he sent us son and that Jesus died for us to save us from those, from all of this, from death, from sin, from de which equals death. And so it just, it's comforting. And it, uh, when it's so beautiful, sometimes you want to tear up. Sometimes you want, you, sometimes you get emotional. And that's, that's what can happen. That what needs to happen, you know, for some, for people, myself included. Let's continue to read. The earth trembled and quaked. The foundation of the heavens shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils. Consuming fire came from his mouth. Burning coals blazed out of it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the, cherub the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his canopy around him. The dark rain clouds of the sky. Another pause. So this whole imagery and description and such, some people do believe that God has wings. Um, because many of times it talks about wings associated, like holding me under his wings, under his wing. Now, some, some people believe, some scholars believe it's imagery and some scholars believe that God has wings, like they, they may believe it. Um, I'm not sure because <laughs> I there could there be visions of the Lord of Lord of course you know if Jesus of course could I that's a good question I don't know that we'll know until what we'll know until we're with them right a um, lot here it's just full of beauty and Again, David knows how to describe man. Uh, he he does an excellent job. Uh, let's continue to read. Out of the brightness of his presence, bolts of lightning blazed forth. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He shot arrows and scattered the enemies, bolts of lightning, and routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundations of the earth laid bare at the rebuke of the Lord at the blast of breath from his nostrils. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. 
he has rewarded me. For I, I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not done evil by turning from my God. All his laws are before me. I have not turned away from his decrees. I have been blameless before him and have kept myself from sin. The Lord has answered me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his sight. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To the blameless, you show yourself blameless. To the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the crooked, you show yourself shrewd. You save the humble, but your eyes are on the hofty to bring them low. You are my lamp, O Lord. <laughs> Amen. You are my lamp, O Lord. The Lord turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. Yeah. I just want to reread. You are my lamp, O Lord. It says a lot. And lamp, your guide, guide the she good shepherd, um, love, wisdom, strength, courage. All good things come from above. All good things come from God. And David is really saying how we feel, how we can, how we feel um, uh, about the Lord. And so um, we can, we can understand those times of pain and sorrow. We can understand those times of when things aren't going well. We can understand those times we can also understand those times of joy and without the suffering. We can understand those times where of success and the Lord's there every step of the way. We can be reminded and we can remind ourselves. And that's also part of having a relationship with the Lord. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?